Hi everyone, it's Michelle here from 3Ps and today I want to share with you a craft project that is for guys or you can use to give to your husband or boyfriend. Um, mine's going to my husband. The idea behind this was I originally thought about Valentine's Day, something I could create for my husband for Valentine's Day that was crafty and I could put time into. Um, but I'm actually going to give this to him for our anniversary because it comes first. <laughs> our anniversary is in January and I'll just do something else for, for Valentine's. But for our anniversary, I wanted to create something for my husband. Um, just show my appreciation um, for him. I mean, he never grumbles or complains when I drag him to Hobby Lobby and Michael's and, you know, I'm spending our money on craft supplies every chance I get. So... Um, he actually helps me look for washi tapes and stuff. It's pretty funny. He kind of gets into it a little bit when we go shopping. So I wanted to, um, you know, he'll check out the clearance sections for me. And he'll come and tell me what was on clearance. And he has his, uh, his phone now has the Hobby Lobby app. So when we go into Hobby Lobby, um, that way we can use two coupons every time we go in there. He has it ready before I do. <laughs> so, um... He, he's pretty funny like that. But so I wanted to just make something for him that let him know how much I love him and appreciate him, you know, for always pretty much putting me first. So um, this is what I came up with. Uh, my husband is really into like, you know, superhero stuff, Star Wars, um, like Doctor Who. I mean, just into so much stuff he, he likes so many things but uh i tried narrowing it down to something that i thought would you know kind of represent my husband and i went with captain america um originally i was going to go with gi joe uh, my husband was in the army for 12 years and military is something that's kind of his thing <laughs> he really i think he really misses it but um well, i don't think i know he does miss it but um so originally I was looking for stuff that had G.I. Joe on it and I just wasn't finding anything I liked. I went to a couple bookstores, looked online, and they just didn't really have anything that was catching my, catching my eye. So I ended up going with Captain America and what I ended up using was a calendar. So right now a lot of calendars are out. Um, you could probably find some cheap that are old like on Amazon or something like that that people are trying to get rid of. Um, but I went with this one. I got it at Walmart. They did have one at a local bookstore here. I think they have one at Barnes and Noble. I think Target has the same one, but I grabbed this one. We were at Walmart. I grabbed this one. I think it was $4.89. It's less than five bucks. So in case you want to grab two, you know, in case you mess up or something, but, um, cause I, I did mess up on one of his pockets, but I was able to fix it. So <laughs> that's why I was like, oh, I should have bought two. So, um, but you could pretty much uh, use anything. So, I mean, whatever your husband's into, um, you know, or if you want to get something. I mean, my husband's not necessarily into Captain America per se, but I felt like, you know, with him being in the military, you know, Captain America, it just kind of, they kind of went together. And you can have, have fun with it, get creative, you know. Um, say your husband's a firefighter, you know, you could get... The Fantastic Four uh, wasn't, I think one of them was the torch or the flame or something. And you could do up like a, like a Valentine's one. It's like, you know, burn in love or something like that. <laughs> Can't even say it without laughing. Um, so he will too. <laughs> um, or maybe your husband's like really physically fit or something. You could do Incredible Hulk, you know, and just, I don't know, just have fun with it. And I mean, cause Let's face it, I think guys for their whole lives will always be like, look, I mean, my husband still has G.I. Joe stuff in store in our garage, in our storage area. And I, I think a part of him will always be a little kid. So, I mean, what husband would not just get a total kick out of something like, like this? And you could do Batman, Superman, like I said, the Fantastic Four, or just, you know, if he has a particular something he's into... Um, just use your, your imagination can go wild. It, it was fun trying to find things, um, to use on this. Um, a couple of things I did pick up. Um, this was at, both of these were at Hobby Lobby. I got this 
uh, sticker sheet pack. It comes with six sheets. Um, if you can see that. This was $3.99. used the 40% off coupon. And it's got uh, six sheets in here. And it's got the Incredible Hulk. We know obviously it went with the Avengers calendar. Or complimented it. So. And it's got some big word saying stickers. And then it's got a bunch where it's got them all, you know, all in the same sticker. It's got border stickers, a couple border stickers here. And then it's got like these, like drawing looking stickers. I mean, any of those, but yeah. I mean, so there's quite a few uh, choices in this particular sticker sheet for $3.99. I mean, this is this ton of stickers, a ton of stickers for $3.99. Actually, I got it 40% off, so even better. Um, I was a little disappointed in these stickers, not because of what they look like, but because of what you get. Um, I was thinking that it was four sheets of stickers. It's not. It's just four stickers. One, two, one sheet, four stickers. Four, what is that, $2.99 for $3 for this. I, I, I don't know. I just seemed, when I got this whole entire pack for a dollar more and I got six pages of stickers um I thought that was a little a little overpriced so like I said I thought it was four sheets I'm you know four sticker set I don't know what I was thinking but at any rate um I did use the another 40% off coupon on this so I didn't pay full price but I just thought that was a little overpriced just for you know one sticker I'm gonna use <laughs> so but I, I you know it's fine next time I'll just pay attention better <laughs> So, and I got those at Hobby Lobby. I don't know what they had. Um, I didn't see anything at Michael's. I did, um, and the Joann's near me is not close, so I don't know what they have. And, of course, I didn't look at Walmart or any other place. So I just grabbed these two packs, and that's what I went with. And the way I did the image, um, here, let me take these things out of the pockets real quick so I can show you the back. All right. So this is the image on the back. It is the calendar page, which, you know, I had already, obviously I've already cut up, but I ended up having, you can see, it doesn't take up the whole page. So I just ended up using this one side because I wanted the shield uh, in, in the image, but I, what I ended up having was this whole piece left. I had a, a very large piece left, and so, which had the captain in it, and I wanted to use it. So what I ended up doing was putting it on the front. I don't know if you can kind of see, but it just goes down the center. So I, it goes down the center here, which left a little bit left over on either side. And so I've got some uh, gray and blue paper down. So I ended up gluing that to the front as well using the, the sticky back paper on the front and back so that it was nice and stuck down. So I kept the embellishments kind of to a minimum um, I, I kind of wanted to keep the image, the integrity of the image as best I could. Um, I did stick, um, you know, a sticker here, a little heart, and I did do the little envelope here with a little heart. Um, and then some of the stickers, here's some holographic tape I got from Target. Uh, this white trim along the edges is actually from Michael's. It's from the long, um, border packs that they have in their dollar, dollar fifty bins. Um, I ended up cutting it in half because it was too thick, so I just had so I had thin trim on each side. And then these uh, stamped some little blue hearts. I made my own alpha sayings. I used stencils for that, so I just used a sharpie marker and colored in some stencils and just you know put it on some red gingham paper and glitter paper and kind of layered it up there and stuck it on some foam foam tape foam sticky whatever. And then this glitter strip here is actually um, the sticky back paper. I cut me some strips the length that I needed and I pulled off the backing and glittered it to the sticky side and then stuck it down. So I made my own glittered trim. Uh, so I just wanted a little bit there and then put some little rhinestones. So I thought that turned out 
pretty cute. Like that heart, this heart and this heart here is um, cork stickers where I glittered the sticky side and then used, um, show you real quick. Let me grab this, grab it out of this pack. They look like this. I got these at Tuesday mornings. I think you can get cork stickers in a lot of places. So I had these hearts and basically I just peel it up. I glitter the sticky side and then stick a glue dot on the front. And I use the little, um, the glue dot packs from Dollar Tree to stick it down with. It just makes glittering, you know, shapes. And because it's already sticky on the back, you know, it's not going to, not going to come off. Or not as much. <laughs> so, and then the items I've made so far for the pockets... Um, like this here is where I used this sticker and made a little notebook with the comic book sticker image on the front. And I just drew a little border using a metallic sharpie. Just put some paper inside. So there's that. And then this is the little coordinating envelope I made. It's got a little note inside like this. And then the inside is, you know, got some glitter. It's got this little note and stuff. I thought that was cute. And then this is a little shaker pocket that I made. And it's got Captain America image inside. Now that image came from the back of the calendar. You know, a lot of, uh, I think every calendar has the back sheet where it shows you, you know, the images that are the inside. So I just cut away. This is where he was sitting. That image was sitting right here. And I just cut that out and I did have to trim it just a little bit. So I cut away a little bit of the shield here. I didn't cut off this side because I didn't want to lose any of the words. But so this is just a mini image of what the big image looks like, obviously. So trim that down and I stuck him inside and I opened up a pocket. And I'm just going to show you for demonstrations on this one. Um, I just opened up the pocket like this. Get, um... I don't have any dark paper later. I don't, it's not wanting to show up with it in my hand. I don't see anything. Let's see if this will work. Let's see if this. So you can see this better. So I just opened up the pocket like this and I stickered the little square. So I used the sticky back paper and I stickied the back of it and put down some uh, cardstock. And then I used another layer of sticky back paper. To make the cardstock sticky and then I just stuck the image inside of the open sleeve so I stuck that down and then closed it up and then used my wood burning tool or you can use a fuse and I sealed up the edges and then stuck my um, you know sequins and stuff inside and sealed it up like a normal pocket letter and then like the rest of the ones I've made I just outlined it with a nice washi tape so and I got this washi tape at Dollar Tree so that's how that turned out. So that's what I've made for it so far. I've got some other things I'm going to put in there, um, like some photos. And it's our seventh anniversary, and our state has um, some little lottery tickets. They're called Lucky Seven. So I'm just going to grab them some little $1 lotto tickets and stick them in the pockets. And i um, going to grab them like a movie gift card to stick in there. And I plan on making some little, some little, um, little things. Hobby Lobby had some really cute, fairly inexpensive, um, like Captain America magnets, um, uh, magnets, I think a keychain. So they, they have a whole section full of like Marvel comic items. So I plan on putting some more, some more things in there. Mm, some things I don't plan on showing on camera, you know, that are, that are private. <laughs> So, but yeah, I mean, I had fun making this. I know my husband is just going to love this. Um, you know, I mean, I could just, I mean, but you know, with guys though, you could just give them a, you just give them a card and they're, they're happy. And I'm still going to figure out some way to get my, get these hot lip shaker piece I made in there somewhere. I mean, who better to give your hot lips to than your husband, right? So, <laughs> I can't even say that without laughing. Oh, so anyway, 
but yeah, I thought this turned out pretty cute. Um, so maybe this gives you some ideas on some kind of fun, crafty item that you can make for your husband or boyfriend or, you know, significant other that you think that they'll get a kick out of too. So thank you so much for watching and y'all have a great day.